which ship is the world's largest ship? The Titanic is the first name that comes to the mind when we think of a ship. Titanic was, without a question, one of the most famous ships in history and it had a memorable inaugural voyage. There are numerous additional massive ships that most of us are unaware of. Some of them are scrapped and some are in active service. The largest ships in the world are ranked by overall length, deadweight tonnage and gross tonnage the current record holders of each major ship types either as individual ships or ship classes as well as certain former record holders are larger vessels that have been scrapped are included on the list hi this is top 10 arena and in this video we are compiled a list of the top 10 largest ships ever built in history at number 10 it's ti class super tanker super tanker of the ti class oceania is the one of the most built with the vast capacity of the crude oil transport, they are the world's four largest double-hulled super tankers. They are also the world's largest ships at the moment. Although the Maersk Triple E class container ships are longer, the TI class shell has the most dead weight and gross tonnage. The TI Oceania has a dead weight tonnage of roughly 440,000 tons and can travel a speed up to 16 to 18 hours. The TI Oceania with cutting edge technology to overcome any challenges that may arise during the journey. TI Oceania is 380 meters long. At number 9 is Burj Emperor. The Burj Emperor was a big oil tanker built by Mitsui in Japan in 1975 and it was one of the world's largest oil tankers. It was first released on August 30, 1975. The ship weighed more than 211,000 tons and measured 381.82 meters in length. The ship was originally owned by Bergesine D.Y and Co. But it was sold to Mastow BV in 1985 and its name was changed to Emperor. At number 8, it's CMA CGM Alexander von Humboldt. CMA CGM is named after Alexander von Humboldt. CMA CGM's Alexander von Humboldt is a container ship of the Explorer class. Until the Mirsk Triple E class arrived, it was the world's largest container ship. The gigantic huge ship is 396 meters long. CMA CGM Alexander has a dead weight tonnage of about 187,000 tons. At number 7, it's Emma Mirsk. Emma Mirsk is now the second largest ship still in operation among the top 10 largest ships in the world. It is the first of the eight container ships in the A.P. Moller Mirsk Group's E-Class. Emma Mirsk was the world's largest container ship when she was launched in 2006. She and her seven sister ships are among the world's longest container ships as of 2010. It's a container ship which carries different goods from country to country. It is able to carry around 11,020 foot equivalent units or 14,770 TEU depending on definition. The length of the massive big ship is 397.71 meters. At number 6, it's Mirsk MC Kinney Mola. The Mirsk's MC Kinney Mola is the flagship of the Mirsk's Triple E container ship class. She has the biggest cargo capacity in TEU of any ship ever built and as of 2013, she is the world's longest ships in service. Devo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering of South Korea built her for Mirsk and she entered service in July 2013 along with her sister ships. Mirsk's MC Kinney Moller is the world's largest and most efficient operational container ship as of 2013, totaling 399 meters in length and with a cargo capacity of 18,270 TEU containers. She has a maximum speed of 23 knots. At number 5, it's ESO Atlantic. In the history of huge ships, ESO Atlantic is one of the most well-known names. The massive ship, which measures 1,333.9 feet in length, has a staggering dead weight capacity of more than 516,000 tons. ESO Atlantic has been providing reliable services throughout the world for the last 35 years. It goes without saying that it was the best ships of its period. Ezo Atlantic was an oil tanker basically and was disposed of as scrap on 2002 in Pakistan. At number 4, it's Batilus. Batilus was a super tanker built in 1976 by Chante de Atlantic at Saint Nazir for the French branch of the Shell Oil, the first vessel of harmonious Batilus class super tanker. Batilus, together with her sister ship Balamia, Perigulma, and Prairial 
was one of the biggest ships in the world, surpassed in size only by Seawise Giant Belt in 1976 and extended in 1981. Although the four ships of the Batilus class has a larger gross tonnage, Batilus was the fourth largest ship with a dead weight capacity of over 500 and 54,000 tons, a speed of 16 to 17 knots and a length of 1,359 feet. On December 28, 1985, she was made her final passage from Westness to Kaohsiung, Taiwan. At number 3, it's Perry Gilman. It was the world's third largest ship ever constructed. Perry Gilman was a super tanker built in 1977 for company national denavigation by Chante de Atlantic in St. Nazar and named after the French politician and creator of the Alf Aquitaine Oil Corporation. It served the world for only six years before it was disposed of as scrap because of the huge unprofitability and declining demands because of her gigantic propositions and unstability of the Perry Gulma was very limited. She couldn't pass through either the Panama or Suez Canal. Because of her draft, she could enter a minimal number of the ports in the world and was therefore moored of offshore rigs and oil terminals like Antifer and after offloading to reduce her draft. At Europort, the dead weight tonnage of Perry Gilma was almost 500 and 55,000 tons with near about 60 knots of speed. The length of Perry Gilma was almost 1,360 feet. At number 2, it's Seawise Giant. Mont was a ULCC super tanker that had formerly been named as, as Opama, Nock Navis, Yahi Viking, Happy Giant, and Seawise Giant. After being lengthened, Mont became the world's longest and largest ship in terms of dead weight tonnage. The Queen of Oceans and Rivers was also known as the Seawise Giant. Sumitomo Heavy Industries built it in their shipyard in Japan in 1979 during the Iran-Iraq war. It was damaged by an air force attack. It was sinking and was considered completely lost. However, the wreckage was salvaged and repaired. After the repairs, she was back in the service as Happy Giant. At number 1 is Prelude FLNG. Prelude is the world's largest ship ever built up to this point. In December 2013, a hull taller than the Empire State Building was launched in South Korea. The whole of the ship's Prelude floating liquefied natural gas FLNG facility, which is the largest floating facility ever built, is 488 meters, 1,601 feet longer and 70 meters, 243 feet broad. More than 260,000 tons of steel was used in its construction. In operation, it was weighed more than 600,000 tons, more than five times the weight of the largest aircraft carrier. So, have you ever seen any of these giant ships in your life? And do you like to travel in these ships? Tell us in the comment sections below. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, then don't forget to press the subscribe button and bell icon for the latest updates.